Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for being here today. Today, we're gonna do a boxy palooza. I have three boxy charms. Let's get into them and check them out. I believe this is my November and December base boxes and my November premium. I haven't gotten my December boxy yet. As you can tell, I don't have any makeup on. Okay, that's not true. I have foundation on, just a skosh and mascara. The reason I have foundation on is I did a Sephora order and one of the things you could get to try was the new Pat McGrath Fetish Sublime Foundation. I think I like it. I want to try, you know, you get so little in one of those cards that I feel like I want more, but I feel like it feels nice. But I thought what we would do is get into these and try out some of the stuff that's in here. I also, by the way, have on a little mascara, which I did not realize until I got up here, I accidentally grabbed my blue mascara, so I don't know if that comes across or not, but yes, blue mascara. <laughs> if you are new to BoxyCharm, BoxyCharm is a monthly beauty box. Each month you can choose or do both, the base box, which is 20, oh boy, $28 now, I think, or the premium box, which is $39.99. And quarterly you can get, and my December one hasn't come yet, and here we are at the end of the month, I should look into that, is the Boxy Lux. In the base, you will have five products. In the premium, you will have six, and they will all be full size. So we're just gonna get into these, start slapping some stuff on my face, and see what we've got. Can't believe I don't have my Boxy Lux. I am taping this on Wednesday. I think that's the 21st of December. So it's getting late. I'm gonna glass up, get these in order, and get some makeup on my face. This is Tis the Season, so we're gonna assume this is my December premium. I won't have a December base box, because when you choose Boxy Lux for that month, you don't get your base box. So then I have my November base and my November premium. We're ready to dig into this. When I open up my November base, this is what it looks like. You will always know it's your base box, because the inside is red. This is our paperwork, and it says it's giving giftable glam and on the back it will tell us a little bit about each of the products that is in here i chose one of my products in your base box you get to choose one and my variation is 17. all right right on top i have a soleil mini heat brush in apricot i am pretty confident i just got this in a box it might have been an Ipsy. This makes like, I think, the, <laughs> the third one of these that I've had. I'm not going to take this out so that I can pass it along, but that is what it looks like. And the paperwork says Soleil Hair Tools Mini Heat Brush. This tool is perfect for an on-the-go styling and touch-up. It's as powerful and easy to use as a full-size tool, but compact enough to carry it with you everywhere you go. The rapid heat time and heat-resistant bristles allow this cute handy brush to glide through your hair quickly and easily. Safe for all hair types. Welcome to your new favorite hair tool. It has a $150 value. Do with that information what you will. And just for the record, that's its color. So it is kind of an orangey peach. Okay, not makeup, not helping my face. Okay, next up we have a Reveal Ultra Hydrating Cucumber Melon Gel Mask. That is what that looks like. Let's take it out. What I'm really dying for is a lip. I would, I would love a lippy. This is what it looks like. Is it, it says T-Y-N-T. -T, so I think that, yeah, that is the brand. I didn't say that in the beginning. Did it tell us that? No, I thought it was revealed. But the brand is, you can see it very lightly, maybe up there. It's T-Y-N-T. This says Tint Reveal Spa Water Gel Mask. It has a $28 value and it says reveal beautiful, hydrated, and glowing skin with this refreshing and revitalizing spa water gel mask. Fortified with hyaluronic acid, cucumber, and melon extracts, it refines the skin with hydration for finer looking pores and an overall healthy, radiant glow. Let's see, hydrating, and I looked at the ingredients and it doesn't seem to have anything in it I can't use. So when we take it out, it's just a gel, looks exactly like a gel. Oh, smells nice. I expected it, when I put it to my face, I totally expected it to smell like cucumber. It does not. It's almost fruity. Not melon fruity, but like, you know when things are strawberry based or that kind of thing, berry fruity, that's kind of what this smells like to me. I don't know, 
<laughs> I'm gonna have to read further. I don't know whether how long you leave it on and if you're supposed to be able to wipe it off, but I will tell you this hand has already absorbed it and this hand is getting there. So I'm not sure what are the directions say. How to use, apply a thick layer, well I didn't do thick, directly onto the face, neck, and leave on for 10 to 15 minutes. Gently massage in excess gel or remove by patting excess using a slightly damp face cloth. So you can just leave it on. Yeah, my hand, I'm gonna leave it because my hand is absorbing it. And the difference between the way my two hands look now, I don't know if you can tell that is nice and freshly hydrated. Okay, here's hoping my face likes it. Next out, <gasps> lip liner. Good color, good color. We have a Ciate London lip liner in a color to be named later. I can't see a color on it. That is what the box looks like. Please be a good color. We need some color on these lips. Oh, it's looking good so far. That is what that looks like. And the paperwork says, Ciate London Velvet Lip Liner. Achieve velvety soft lips with this liner. The soft matte intensely pigmented formula glides effortlessly onto your lips to perfectly define or reshape your lips. The perfect pout is just a stroke away. I always wish that I had the nerve to reshape my lips. You know, like that look, and I think I'm too old for this, but where you basically you go from the top, from the point, from the bow, straight across, or not straight, but kind of give it an arch so that you have that pouty upper lip instead of defining your bow. I wish I could do that because I would like puffier lips, but I just know I would look ridiculous. This looks like it's a good color. Yeah, my hand has completely absorbed that. Oh yeah, this is a great color for me. We will line my lips, and if it looks completely ridiculous, we'll have to fill them in too. This is like my lip color, but better. It's almost exactly, I don't know if you can tell, it's almost exactly my lip color. Okay, I don't know if you can tell, but that's them just lined. I'm gonna go ahead, instead of leaving this look, we're gonna go ahead and fill them in just to skosh, give them a little bit of color. As I do that, I can tell. It's got a little more warm tone to it than pink. It's nice, I like it a lot. It's not quite as creamy as they made it sound, but whew, we got some color on our lips and that will tide us over until hopefully somewhere in here we find more lip color. Reaching in next, I have Mango Luna Magic in Cherry. It is a hydrating lip balm. All right, it's like somebody heard my cry. Please, something for my lips. This is a really unusual shaped box for a lip balm. Oh, it's two. That is what that looks like. And the paperwork says that this has a $16 value. Luna Magic Lush and Plush Hydrating Lip Balms. A hydrating, sheer, lightweight lip balm that leaves lips soft and lush. Infused with vitamin E to nourish the lips and formulated with jojoba oil to heal dry lips and help lock in moisture. And this is a new launch. Well, does one of them smell like mango? Mango is not yet. This is mango. It's not my favorite. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that aside. This one is cherry. And I always love everything cherry. It is just a regular slant top. Does it have, oh yeah, so does it have color? It has just a Scotia color. Shall I put this on or shall we hope for better lips? Let's hope for better lips, a better lip color. So when I put it on the back of my hand, you can see the little pink and let's see. Oh, it does leave some color. The more you blend it out, of course, the more it blends, but it does, it's got a nice pink flush to it. Oh, it smells like cherry. It smells like that fake 70s cherry, and I am all for that. I love that scent. Okay, we're gonna hope for a different lip color, though. And at the very bottom of this, and what was my choice, it is the In My Element eyeshadow palette from Ida Item. <laughs> item beauty, which is Addison Ray, And this is what I chose. This is one of the cool ones that opens like this. So cool. All right, I'm going to take it out. This is what it looks like. It's kind of a foiled look, rose gold, I'd say. Oh, it's very pretty. It is, oh man, I need eyeshadow so bad, but these are really neutral. I'm gonna wait and see if we come up with a different palette in these kits. I left this plastic on it just in case I want to pass it along, but it's a really, really pretty neutral palette. Of course, how can I pass it along when I tore the lid off? We'll see. 
I am going to, this is what it looks like because we opened the top. I'm gonna tuck this right back on top in case by chance we wanna pass that along. <laughs> okay, that was, oh, let me tell you what the paperwork says. Let me tell you what the paperwork says. The paperwork says, Item Beauty by Addison Ray in my Element eyeshadow palette. Have them seeing stars with this blendable, buildable 10 shade shadow palette. A cosmic collection of warm shadows, cool neutrals, and star dusted shimmers for a look that's out of this world. It has a $24 value, so it's really reasonably priced. So in this one, we got the shadow palette, the two lip balms, <laughs> the face mask, which the back of my hand absorbed. You wouldn't even know at this point it was ever there. My hand loved it. The mini heat brush and the lip liner that we used. Okay, let's find more makeup. And if my math is correct, for $28, the value in my box was $240 of that set. That heat brush was $150 of it. November, we have my premium box. The premium box is a $40 box, but the theory is you're going to get more premium products. This is my paperwork. I am variation 226. If that is true, there were a whole lot of variations in this. And I went back and checked my emails and for my November premium, I chose a uh, contour, yay, and a choose for me. So I don't know, unfortunately, I don't know what they chose for me. First out, we have a four, 24 karat gold sculpt and lift bar. We have had this, I have probably, I don't know, three, four, five of them from different boxes. When we open it up, it has a little case and it's just sitting right in there. I'm going to leave it just like that in case I want to pass it along. Skin Ink Sculpt and Lift Bar, 24 karat gold, provides multiple benefits for inner and outer beauty for glowing skin and youthful appearance. The pulsating massage is also relaxing and de-stressing for busy urbanites like us. This handy tool is a real time saver in our increasingly hectic lifestyles. And it has a $125 value. So that's where we're starting all of these boxes. This is the product they've put on top, is some kind of tool that they can put an outrageous price on. Okay, next out we have St. Lux. I don't know. Oh, Lip Liner Duo. Boom, what we find. This is Morganite and Carnelian. That is what the St. Lux box looks like. These are not perfect colors for me. They're, this one's a little orangish and this one is kind of brown. So I will set these aside and this says St. Lux Morganite and Carnelian Gel Lip Liner Duo. This new and improved gel lip liner is creamy, long-lasting, and hydrating. It smoothly glides onto the lips and blends with little to no effort. Achieve a fuller look by overlining the lips just above the natural lip line to get a plump, kissable pout. It says it has a $30 value. And yeah, these are very, very warm. This one is flat brown, so these aren't perfect for me. So let's pass them along. Next out, I have, oh, I don't think I've tried this. Complex Culture Executive Level Mascara. It never, I mean, we all know that the Ipsy Boxy thing happened. It still surprises me when I see it, literally Ipsy branded products in the Boxy. I mean, Complex Culture is an Ipsy brand. I don't think I have tried the mascara. Yeah, I feel like I would have remembered that big square clunky mascara. I will absolutely be trying this. The paperwork says Complex Culture Executive Level Mascara it has a $28 value. Level up your eyes with this multitasking five-in-one mascara that defines, lifts, lengthens, volumizes, and nourishes lashes from root to tip. Ultra conditioning formula enhances the shine and defines lashes without smudging or flaking. Fit with a curved wand to hug each and every lash for full out next level volume. Well, I am still going to try it, but I'm here to tell you, I am not good with a curved wand. There's something about, oh, this isn't bad at all. Okay. Did, is it curved? It said curved. This is so subtle that, I mean, you almost can't tell. I don't, I was thinking, you know, curved. I can totally do this. It does feel like, just from where I took it out and how much stuck to the end, it is a wet formula. Wet isn't the right word, but you know, sometimes there are drier and wetter formulas. This one feels wet. Next up, I have a Wishful Clean Genie Cleansing Butter. That is what that looks like. I have not, I hate to, a whole brand, but I haven't had any luck with these Wishful products, so I think I will pass this along. And it says Wishful Clean Genie Cleansing Butter. It has a $35 value, and it says a cleansing butter infused with green tea and cherry blossom extract to melt away any makeup 
and impurities while keeping the skin feeling soft and supple instead of greasy or dry. My daughter loves the pharmacy one that is the cherry and lime, so I will probably give this to her to try. So we'll go ahead and open it and give it a sniff. That is what the inside looks like. And when we open it up, yeah, it looks a lot, a lot like the pharmacy one. It looks a little more creamy lotiony. Yeah, I can't smell it, but I think I'm gonna pass that along for her to try. And next out, I have my choice. <laughs> I have to tell you, from there was no cocaine next to it. From the picture that they had us choose from and the fact that it's a contour, I thought it was gonna be, you know, this size. I thought it was gonna be it's very little. Precision Duo Contour Pot. Pot Duo Contour. <laughs> Sounds very much the same in French, doesn't it? And obviously I got the light one. When you take it out, that is what it looks like. It's super cute. Oh, I can't get it open. It is difficult to get open. I hope I don't wreck a nail doing this. Okay, that is the top color. That is the bottom color and it is shiny. And just for the record, the top part, this part behind here does have a mirror. All right, let's see what the paperwork says about this. Iconic London Precision Duo Contour Pots. Two-in-one cream and powder contour pots for a natural lifted look. It has a $29 value. The back of this says shape, seal, set. Directions, apply the cream to the hollows of your face and blend. Apply your foundation. Darn it, I was gonna do this now. I was thinking bronze or not contour. Layer the powder from the top pot over the same area as the cream and you do that after you foundation. Okay, all right, well, we're just gonna do that part and see if we can get a little bit of bronzing slash contouring. I just have some random brushes up here. Let's see what we get. So I have nothing on, but just a little bit of foundation. Hmm. This is the whole, I don't think I'm getting any color transfer and then I go downstairs and I look in the mirror and I realize having made two or three videos that the entire time I've looked like the clown from It. Yeah, I think that might have transferred more color than I think, but I needed some color. I think that that is a completely wearable color for me. So in theory, the bottom one that is shiny is the creamy one that I put on before my foundation. Let's just put a little bit of that on my hand and see what we have. This is the one that they're saying is the cream. Can you see the shimmer in that? Oh, it's very creamy. Oh my goodness. It is, I mean, it is really, really, really creamy. Did, it, did that have any color? All right, time for my glasses. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of color there. It's really subtle though. I mean, good for them for truly doing a light. I might try that. Okay, that'll be fun to play with. And last but not least, I'm trying not to get too excited. I think we've got some eyeshadows. Here's hoping they are good colors for me in this one. This is the Dominique The Moment. So I don't know if this is what they chose for me or if one of these other items is what they chose for me. Ooh, this looks like it has greens in it. It's very heavy. Ooh, when we take it out, it's plastic. It feels like one of the, you know, the little Huda squares? It feels like that, but big. <laughs> it's very heavy. Ooh, this is very pretty and completely wearable. This whole top is a mirror that says, letting go is the key to happiness. And the colors, we're definitely gonna put some of these on. They're huge, huge pans. But see, we have, this one is very blue. I hope that's coming across. This one is also very blue. So what I thought was green is blue. These three are matte, so I have an all over, kind of a transition, and then a corner darker color if I want. <gasps> this one is kind of matte. It's, it's kind of an olive. Okay, let's see if we can do a really quick job of putting some of these on. Let's do this. I'm gonna go into this as an all over, then I'm gonna use this in transition. I think I'm gonna do this as a corner pop of color. I'll pick one of the shimmer colors to put on the inside bottom of my lid. So we're going right into that really light color just to kind of give us an all over base. I do this because I'm not great at doing eyeshadows. I mean, I am, as you can tell, I am not a makeup artist and I find it much easier to blend shadows if I do what I just did with a little light base. Next, we are going to go into that lighter of the two browns, and we're gonna do that just as a transition kind of crease color 
right in here. It does not come off instantly as having a really dark color. I'm gonna have to tap into it again, but I don't mind that because <laughs> that gets back to the whole, I'm not a makeup artist. And if you're a makeup artist and you can blend, swirl, tap, buff, <laughs> all of that really well, I know that you don't mind digging in and having lots of color because you know you can fix it. I don't always feel the same way. I don't think I fix things as well as I should be able to. Okay, I hope that comes across. It's, it's just a real nice light brown. And, well, <laughs> in all this lighting, it's light. Are you guys like, nope, that's a big old streak of brown, Catherine. I'm gonna fi I'll finish up this eye just with this transition and I'll be right back. Next, we're gonna dip into that olive green and we're gonna see what kind of color it gives. It's not much darker than the brown that I chose for in my crease. Oh yeah, this is nice. But I feel like I would like it down here. It's kind of an olive green. It may come across brown. I know a lot of times I choose colors and then when I make the videos and I edit the videos, I'm like, yeah, you can't even tell all of the lovely colors I chose. I like that. That's kind of an olivey color. I'll do the same thing, hopefully, <laughs> to the other eye. Be right back. I kind of like that. I'm kind of snow blind here, so we're just hoping that it looks decent. All right, let's try out. We have three different neutral-ish shimmers. I'm going to put all three of those on my fingers. This is what we have. I'm really drawn to this one. So this was this first one. This was the gold one. And then this was the more bronze one. Yeah, and I'm really drawn to that first one that kind of has, it's almost like a duochrome. It's kind of a brown, but I see some blue in it. We're gonna touch that right into the middle and then over to the edge. I just like a little pop of shine right in there because I have such hooded eyes that I feel like it gives me just a little bit of eye opening. And almost always, regardless of what palette I'm using, almost always I do this job with my finger and not a brush. I find that with some of the shimmers, when you go to using a brush, just don't get the color payoff that you want. So that is what we ended up with. I hope I do not look completely clown-like. It is difficult to tell in these lights, so here's hoping. I will absolutely play with that palette. So that is the Dominique. Did we see what the paperwork said about it? Dominique Cosmetics The Moment Palette has a $49 value. Whether you're celebrating a huge milestone or just making the most of any day, get ready with these 10 ultra pigmented blendable shades, including Midnight Blue, Dreamy Turquoise, Golden Shimmers, and Smoky Mattes. I agree. I like it. I even like it now that I have my glasses on. Okay. So that was my premium box. And my choices in this were this contour that we did, and pick for me. So I don't know what they picked for me. So I ended up with the contour, the sculpt and lift bar, the Dominique Cosmetics really pretty eyeshadow palette, the Complex Culture mascara, and the St. Lux lip liners, and the Wishful Clean Genie. Now we're going to get into my December premium. Oh, what I'd give for a nice lip. Maybe a little blush. Okay. When we open it up, uh, this is what we have on the inside. It says December Premium. And again, the reason I don't have a December base is because I will be getting a December Lux box. And when you choose the Lux, you don't get the base. This says Boxy Lux, tis the season for being extra. And then the back tells us everything we have in here. Please say blush. It doesn't look like anything in there is a blush. Okay. Right out on top. No tools this month. We have a Grown Alchemist Anti-Pollution Primer. So we see quite a bit of Grown Alchemist in this both and in FabFitFun. I have tried a lot of it. I think, don't think that big box was necessary. I love that they use the metal tins. That is what that looks like. Oh, you know what? I will go back in a minute and tell you what the value of my November premium was. Grown Alchemist Anti-Pollution Primer. Create that perfect base for makeup application with this lightweight hydrating gel primer featuring bioactive botanical ingredients that provide double duty protection against pollution and blue light while instantly blurring wrinkles and pores for smooth, flawless looking skin. Okay, let me check out the ingredients. Oh, grapefruit oil. Okay, so I will not get into this so that I can set it aside for a giveaway because if you watch the channel, you know I can't do grapefruit oil. Next out, we have a, <laughs> my 15th <laughs> Seattle London Watermelon Burst Setting Spray. I have had this, first of all, really unusual thing to send in a December box and premium box. I don't think that this is a I know that sounds so snarky. I don't know that this is a premium product. This is what it looks like. I have used it 
and I do like it. But I use other setting sprays too, and I don't go through them quickly enough to need another one of these. This is Ciate London Watermelon Dewy Setting Spray. This delicately scented ultrafine mist helps to maintain hydration keep makeup in place and add a natural dewy finish, which is why they put it in December because it's got that dewy finish. It has a $22 value. So talk amongst yourselves. Do you think that's a premium item? Next, Complex Culture. Two months in a row, Complex Culture. This is the All Eyes Brush Trio, which by the way, I did a choose for me this month in this box and I chose some eyeshadows. <laughs> Dang it, we should have waited. Okay, let's see what these brushes look like. I love the Complex Culture brushes, and I don't know, do I have any of their eye brushes? I don't know that I do, but I've had several of their face brushes and like them, I mean, a lot. I, I'm gonna take all these plastic things off. I am not a smart enough money. They say we have an all over shadow, a precision blend, and an easy crease definer. So I'm gonna say this flat one is the all over shadow that this is the crease definer, and that this is the precision, I, I don't know, precision eyelid. We have three really pretty eyeshadow brushes, and I really like the Complex Culture brushes, so not unhappy to receive these. Complex Culture Easy Eyes Trio. Meet this award-winning multitasking brush trio designed to make your life easier. Each brush is made to do the work of multiple brushes in one, saving you both time and effort. With first of its kind, biodegradable handles, and a velvety matte finish for extra grip and control. And they say they have a $40 value. And next out, we have a Make Beauty Serum Balm in Nude Nova. That looks a little warm. Is it for my face or my lips? I'm getting desperate for some lips here. <laughs> Let's see what the paperwork says. Make Serum Balm Hydrating Lip Treatment. I'm telling you, I think we're going for it, ladies. This serum lip product provides instant hydration while softening, smoothing, and plumping. Formulated with a natural lip volumizing ingredient derived from biomolecules extracted from pomegranate flowers along with liquefied jojoba wax. This lip conditioning treatment adds luxurious long-lasting shine and cushion. has a $26 value. Let's get in here. <laughs> I like all those words. I My lips feel so dry and I want so much more color than I have. I have this. I don't have it in that color. My color is very, very pink and I love it. I do. I have it in the pink. It sets right on my nightstand. Yeah, this one is just, it looks kind of nude, but I bet it's just basically clear. Here, let me show you on my hand. Yeah. See where I put it on my hand right here? You almost can't see it. I love the feel of this lip balm. I didn't realize this was the box it came out of. Ah, oh, yeah. It's got some shimmer to it, too. Mm. It feels so good. If this becomes a choice that you can make in one of your boxes, I highly recommend it. I love the feel of this balm. My goodness. Whew. My lips feel so much better. We still have two things. Next out, we have a Perfect Collab Pencil Eyeliner Set. And that is what that looks like on the front. It looks like maybe I have a black, because I have a black wrap and a copper. That's kind of fun. Let's see what the paperwork says. Beauty for certain, Perfect Collab. Your Perfect Collab is here in a expertly matched pencil eyeliner set. These creamy, easy glide liners go on smooth and give you a long lasting look with staying power. Now, that's beauty for certain. $38 value, wow. Is it the twist up? No. I find the ones that we have to sharpen, mm, they're not my favorite. We have these two. I think this one is black and that one kind of has the copper to it. You know what, let's try the copper. Let's just see if it glides across. Cause you know, it's the holiday season. Let's see how easily it glides across my old lady lids. I mean, it's not bad. It's not super smooth. You know, you get a lot of forgiveness with the copper. Can you guys even tell? You probably can't even tell I put it on there. I can barely tell. I'm gonna make this one match. I might use this in this color because it is, because it is so very different, but this I am not going to touch on the inside because I might want to pass it along. We have one more thing we do, my choice. The Translucent Beauty Midnight, mm. Deseos, 
That is what that looks like. I have had such good luck with the Tradeless Beauty. Everything that I try from them, I really, really enjoy. So when I saw this whole palette, I was like, mm -hmm, we're gonna be trying that. Ooh, even the front, it's so pretty. Look how pretty that is. I love that. It's very neutral, but something about it is I like it probably because what I was drawn to is, look how cool they are. This one's even like a pink. It's a lot of glitter in here and I don't use glitters. I will ignore those. There's a black in case you wanted to use it for a liner, which I often do. This one is a pinkish color. Yeah, I am absolutely gonna love playing with this. It is all matte, except for these two are real, mm, three. <laughs> these three are really chunky. And this one, well, let's just see. Yeah, this one is more just like a shimmer. It's really pretty. Let's touch these. Yeah, these are definitely, uh, you know what? I don't know that they are glittery. They're really pretty though. You know what? I just caught this from the side and it's called Ethereal. Oh, so creamy. I thought, it, oh yeah, I thought it was gonna be white. I think it's a lavender look. Well, it goes on, it goes on kind of whitey lavendery. Can you see where I did the line right there? I think it has a lavender tint to it. So pretty. Okay, that will be fun to play with. In this box, I chose the Trace Loose eyeshadow palette. We got the brush set from Complex Culture, the Make Lip Balm. Let me show you this again, because I now have this in two colors, and I, I absolutely love the way it feels. We have the Beauty for Certain Eyeliners, the Ciate London Watermelon Dewy Setting Spray, and the Grown Alchemist Primer. And I didn't tell you, the Trace Loose Beauty says, set your intentions and make a wish. This limited edition cruelty-free and vegan palette features 18 mattes, shimmer, and metallic shades infused with Mexican blue agave. It includes a removable keepsake mirror to create the most beautiful looks. You know what, that's the last Trace Loose palette that I got, the mirror came off too. And all you do is you open it up and the mirror, this is the mirror on the other side, see? and then that's what the inside looks like. So their mirrors come off. I think that is such a fun idea. The value in this box, which is my premium, is only 230, which is smaller than we saw in the other boxes because there was no crazy tool putting the numbers through the roof. Let me work out the value for my November premium. The November one was 296, but it had that sculpt bar. I'll tell you what we're gonna do for those of you who've hung in here. There were some things in here I couldn't use, right? Let's gather them. I have the Saute London Watermelon Burst Dewy Setting Spray, the Grown Alchemist Primer that had grapefruit oil in it. You know what, we can do individuals. You guys watch me do this. You know where I'm coming from, right? I have this individual. This is just the black one because you guys watched me use the bronze one, but just the black eyeliner. I will go ahead and throw that in there. What was in this box? We have the Soleil Heat Brush. Oh, you know what? This is another one of the two for ones that is only part of it. Remember, I used the cherry, but we didn't open the mango. I'll throw that in there. We have the Item Beauty, you guys know. I opened it up to show you guys, but we didn't touch it. So we'll go ahead and put this. This is the Addison Ray Item Beauty Eyeshadow Palette. In this one, we have the Sculpt Lift Bar and the St. Lux Lip Liners. All right, let's do a spur of the moment giveaway. Okay, if this is something that you're interested in, knowing, because you guys know, because you watch me do it, knowing that you can tell that we've already opened the Item Beauty eyeshadow palette, that this is just one of the lip balms, that this is just one of the eyeliners, but everything else is all, all of it is new and untouched. Let's just do a surprise giveaway. Okay, I will put all of the rules down below in case I forget any of them. You have to be 18 years old. This is heavy, so we're gonna say a US mailing address. This is in no way affiliated with any of these brands or YouTube. What else do I have to tell you guys? I'm not exactly certain when I'm gonna put this up, so we won't close this until, let's say Monday. Monday is the second or the first? The second. Monday, January 2nd, 5 p.m. Eastern. I will close it. I will then draw a winner. If I don't hear from the winner within 48 hours, I will pick a new winner. Anything else you need to know, be sure and check below. I will put all of the rules in the description in case I have missed anything, but I think I've hit most of the highlights. And if you are interested in the giveaway, we need a word that we can all use because some people wanna comment, but they don't necessarily wanna be entered in the giveaway. So if what I just showed you is something you would be interested in in your comment below, let's just use the word surprise because this is a surprise giveaway. 
All right, I hope you are having a great holiday season. I'm glad we could do a quick little holiday surprise giveaway. I appreciate you guys throughout the year being here so much. I will tell you, not just because of me, but because this affects me too. This is the time of year that YouTube starts unsubscribing you from people. So be sure you're still subscribed to me when you're out there. Oh, that was something else. You have to be subscribed to be a winner. Completely unrelated to what I was just telling you because this is the time of year where YouTube goes in and for some reason, they unsubscribe you to people. And I wish I could tell you it's because it's people you haven't watched, but it's not. There is somebody that I follow regularly that I was unsubscribed to. So not just with me, but be aware to all of the people you subscribe to. You might one day be like, hey, where did so-and-so go? That's been your daily PSA. We never ended up with blush. We could use some blush. All right, guys. I will see you again really soon. We will close this on January 2nd at five o'clock and I will contact the winner. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.